Hi guys, today we are going to have a tutorial on the setup of Dig. This is the screen that everyone will get when they open Dig. You can click options to check your settings for ROM scanning and game covers. If they are okay, like here, then you'll be able to scan your ROMs and download your game covers. You can also use your refresh images option after downloading your game covers by clicking OK here. Now let's go back to the main menu and go to systems. In here you can find all the systems of the ROMs that you own. But sometimes um, ROMs may not be scanned perfectly, you may have difficulties to find your system and you have to click option and then click all systems. So you will find all systems here and you will have to find the system that you need. And you can also apply the next step to the missing ROM problem. First, click manage system. Next, click ROM paths and add and then find the folder where you put your ROM files. Here I put it in my SD card 1, ROM, and SNES. Then click confirm, check the folder, and click done. And you can see the ROMs are already there. The next thing I want to talk about is the box cover problem, which is pretty common. So you can see there's one missing cover and then the, the other three are just screenshots but not cover. So you can click more option, then manage system, and click box covers, then import. Go to the folder where you put all the images that you download on your own. It will not appear immediately, so you have to go back to the menu and then go back to systems again and find your system and click it. Then boom! This is the easiest and fastest way to do, but you have to download your own box covers. Let's look at a bad example. Now I'll try to import a box cover that named differently from the ROM file. So you can see there's something loaded, but nothing just happened. And it won't show up even if I just refresh it. So the thing I have to do is to copy the name of the ROM file and then to rename this image. So here I'm just showing you a way to do on your device, but my personal suggestion is that um, I think it is better to download all the images on your computer and name them after the ROM file when you download it because it's obviously easier and faster to do it on a PC. So now we have renamed the file, so let's see if it works. And it works. Our last section we'll be talking about how to ignore or unignore a file. In this application, you'll be granted three paid features. One of them from the list is ignore file. You can find that from the manage game and then ignore this file. And you can find the unignore file option in the same menu. 
This is pretty handy because um, obviously there are some system files or some ROMs that you don't want to show people. So you can use this option to hide them all. And I think it is worth to choose it. Occasionally, there are some ROMs or Android games that are ignored by the system by default. If you couldn't find your ROM or your Android game after scanning for several times, uh, you can actually try this. So that's it. I hope this tutorial helps you. My next video will be a theme setup tutorial. It will be a short tutorial about how to find themes, how to download them, and how to apply them. If you enjoy my video, please like and subscribe for support. Thank you.